the Cisco SPA303G and 504G. In this video, we will go over the device features and some commonly used functionality to get you up to speed with your new phone. We will be using the SPA504G for example purposes. All operations and software features are identical on the SPA303G, with the only exception being that there are only three line keys. When you first set up your phone, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the hardware and button locations. On the left is your handset, and on the right is your display screen and keypad. Next to the keypad, you will see some additional buttons for quick access to different features of the device, such as your navigational arrow keys, headset and speakerphone buttons, and physical mute, hold, and voicemail buttons. At the bottom of the device is a physical volume control. Using this button while the device is idle will adjust the ring volume. Using the button while on a call will adjust the volume for the medium you are using via handset, headset, or speakerphone. The display screen is your main source of information from the device. When the display is idle, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options, as well as feature notifications like voicemail or do not disturb. The buttons to the right of the screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to use with your main extension, assign busy lamp field or remote line keys for other extensions, and even allow you to assign login and logout buttons for hunt groups. The buttons below the screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the current activity of the phone. When idle, you have direct access to functions like call history or toggling do not disturb. To dial an outbound call, enter a phone number from the dial pad, then pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information, such as the dialed number and call duration, will be visible on the screen, and you will have access to additional soft key options while on the active call. You can start a separate call by placing the current caller on hold, dial the number for your second call, and press the dial soft key. To answer an incoming call, simply pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information, such as the caller ID and call duration, will be visible on the screen, as well as additional soft key options for your active call. To answer a call waiting, simply press the blinking line key. This will automatically place the first caller on hold and answer the new call. You can return to the first caller by simply pressing the line key once more. While on a call, you can place the caller on hold by pressing the hold button or pressing the hold soft key. The call will immediately be placed on hold, showing the word hold on the display screen, as well as the caller ID, phone number, and hold duration. To pick the call back up, press the line key where the call is being held, indicated by the blinking LED or press the resume soft key on the screen. A warm or attended transfer allows you to consult with the party to which you are sending the call to before completing the transfer. On the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer to and wait for the party to answer the call. After your deliberations, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key again or simply hanging up your phone, and the call will be immediately connected to the second party. A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer a call to another number or extension. Press the right arrow to access the second page of soft keys. You will see the soft key BXFER, which stands for blind transfer. When you press blind transfer, the call will still be live on your phone. Dial in the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to and press the OK soft key. The call will immediately start ringing to the second party. Conference calls allow you to merge two active calls together with your line, granting a three-party call. While on a call, press the conference soft key. The initial party is placed on hold and a new line is picked up for you to place another call. Dial the new number or extension and wait for the new party to answer. Finally, press the conference button again to merge the two calls. You can use the additional soft key options to manage the conference call.
press the hold soft key to put the conference call on hold. Press the join soft key to join the callers on the conference together and disconnect yourself from the call. You can end the conference call by pressing the end call soft key. If a caller needs to hold for a user that is not currently at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily park the call to allow them to pick it up from any device on the account. Press pound 7 while on a call. The call will immediately be placed on hold on a virtual extension number, and your device is sent an SMS text message to advise you of the parked extension. Now, any user can simply dial the extension number to immediately pick the call up on their device. The call history allows you to navigate your phone's call log. Press the menu button, then navigate to call history and press the select soft key. You can use the arrow keys to navigate between your redial, answered, and missed calls. You can also add a history call as a contact. Select the call with the up and down arrow keys, then press the right arrow key once to access the second set of soft keys. Press the save soft key. Edit the name and add any additional information, then press the save soft key again. To access the directory from the idle screen, press the DIR soft key, or press the menu button, then press the select soft key on directories. The directory will list all contacts added to this device. When you select a contact with the arrow keys, you will see additional soft keys to manage the listing, allowing you to dial out to the number, edit listing information, or delete the contact from your directory. You can also press the Add button and add additional contacts directly to the list. To turn on Do Not Disturb and send callers directly to voicemail, press the D&D &D soft key on the idle display screen. The words Do Not Disturb will appear on the screen. Press the button again to turn off Do Not Disturb. You can set call forwarding from your device at any time. To set always on forwarding instantly, press the call forward soft key, enter a phone number or extension, and press dial to submit the entry. You will see the words calls forwarded to indicate forwarding is on. To turn always forwarding off, simply press the CFWD button once more. If you wish to further edit your device's forwarding settings, you can press the menu button and navigate to the call forward option to see all available configurations. You have three forwarding options. Always forward will immediately forward all calls received to this extension to the number you entered. Busy forward will forward any calls that you reject to the number you entered. By default, rejected calls to your extension automatically forward the caller to your voicemail. No Answer Forward will forward any calls you miss while idle or on a call to the number you entered after your specified ring time. By default, your unanswered calls are forwarded to your voicemail. When a caller leaves a voicemail, you will see an envelope icon appear next to your line keys. To check your voicemail, pick up the handset or press the headset button, then press the voicemail button. Enter your PIN to access your voicemail box where you can listen to your voicemail messages or edit your outgoing greetings from the automated voice menu.